More than 250 students' organizations are here in Calvset Fullerton, and the SNA, Students Navigating Accessibility, is one of the organizations started last November. They are trying to increase awareness to the people with disability and help students with and without disabilities in many ways. What our mission is, is to, to create an organization that's inclusive and making, uh, creating relationships and, and, and building bridges and making, uh, creating opportunities for students with disabilities to do internships um, on campus and off campus, uh, be able to apply for certain scholarships. Really, you know, my purpose is for awareness, to disseminate awareness for people with disabilities on the university campus to take advantage of the knowledge that we are here. Making a change is one of SNA's missions. From their own experiences and things they had learned, they are trying to make a change in the parking issue. And this month, it, we're writing a proposal about it because the health center has said that they're interested. Our idea right now is providing a temporary pass that you can park in 30 minutes while you have your appointment and then you, the pass expires once your appointment is over or something like that. When I broke my arm, it was difficult to drive and so I made it there and I had to move my car every 30 minutes. I didn't have anybody to take me to the doctor so I had to do it on my own and it would have been nice to have like a temporary parking pass. So I can just be in there the whole time and they can take x-rays and do all the tests that they needed to do. Besides disabled student services on campus, SNA is also supported by Dale McIntosh Center that is based on Northern California. SNA provides internship, scholarship, and other services through DMC and help to arrange you for other resources too. There are five members in the club and each individual have their own purpose why they became a part of it and started to notice their change. My, really my uh, passion is to help out people with uh, disabilities and uh, to be able to make, help them feel that they too can be empowered. We can do good things together, that we can work on our abilities together. There's been a lot of changes. Um, I think I have more awareness, you know, for who I am and who I've become and who other people are, and their disabilities, you know, or I should say their abilities. I've always been such an unsure student, as a graduate student especially, because I've always had a reading and writing problem. And when I met Trish, I found out that she also had a problem. We ended up discovering that other people around us also had issues like that too. And it made me feel better about myself because I didn't feel so alone. So same thing. I didn't feel so alone knowing that other people also have these like very minute disabilities, but it does hinder them in some way to be able to like, um, you know, be as successful as someone that didn't have them. But what I liked is that we all, all had our difficulties, but we all try our very best to, um, to overcome them. The club members say they focus on their ability and do not want to allow their disability to keep them from doing good things, both on campus and in the community. You know, don't be afraid. You know, do it. Um, you know, like in the beginning. The opportunities are there, but they're hidden. So look for opportunities. You have to look for opportunities. You know, like with this club, you know, it's not just for deaf students, it's for anybody. It's open. Anybody who's interested, anybody with a disability, anybody who doesn't have a disability or maybe knows somebody or family member with a disability, you know, it's open. We're inclusive, inclusive for everybody, you know, you know, to really give a different perspective for this club. You know, how we can work together and as a community, you know, and outside the community as well. They are planning to have Disabled History Week here on campus in October and trying to get more people involved in the club. If you want to know more about the club, contact them at sna.csuf at gmail.com. For Daily Titan, I'm Mikari Kuga.